Right, for sure. Now, a lot of reports came out in 2020 about shootings at Lenox Mall. You know, Lenox Mall used to be the place to go to. A lot of people, it's like a, it's like a, a tourist attraction to Atlanta. Why is Lenox Mall so dangerous right now? Shit, because Atlanta dangerous. Atlanta dangerous and they see these sweet, they see these, uh, these sweet, these, these new, these new folks, they, they, they eat them up. They, <laughs> they fucking them up. These new people or whatever. I don't know what happened with none of the shooting because I don't really watch the news. I, I can't, I got a, I got one of the bodies with me right now that I can ask about it when I'm done with energy. Cause he was smooth. So I don't really know like what happened and who and who did what uh, what age group did something somebody and how it went down. But shit, everybody got everybody got blickies, bro. Everybody got done, bro. Especially since this whole George Floyd, like we ain't like that. So we know we you know we suited up for the, the real ops. You know what I'm saying we had suited mm -hmm. up for the real ops. Everybody went and got locked. So everybody got it done and shit. You know, like, people ain't taking their life for granted. Cause we don't see so many endless, just endless murders and shit like that. People ain't taking their life for granted. People want to live. So shit, they 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 gonna pop you before you pop before they let you pop them. Shit, nigga know you got a nigga 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 know you better be in Lenny Buddha on you. That's just period. Then it's done turned into down to like green bar, bro. It ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't the mall. That ain't the mall. The mall ain't how it used to be. There's way more people in there, especially hood and street niggas. Way more of them in there. You know what I'm saying? Cause they get money. So shit, it, it ain't like how it used to be when you walk that motherfucker and you and you wouldn't even see nobody, you know. I know a lot of people. It's performing a rapper too. But shit, them up on the impact now. You'll fuck around then. People got ops now, so you know what I'm saying? If you fuck around, see they ops, or if you fuck around, see somebody they trying to rob. You know what I'm saying? The young nigga got them ready to crash out. They ain't never been no jail time in that. I had no long sentence, so they're ready to crash out. And that's just what they own. So shit, that was going on at Lynn. Ready to crash that. Do you still shop at Lennox? Yeah, I shop at Lennox. And when I'm in Lennox, man, you know, I, I, I get love from my city, bro. I don't got no ops, bro. I don't got no ops in my city, bro. I, I, I get love in my city, bro. I mind my business, bro. My name Benny and I ain't in it. You know what I'm saying? So I just got down, mind my business, bro. I don't, I don't speak on other nigga business. They got ops. I don't let niggas speak about they ops around me or to me to try to downplay them. So like I'm agreeing with it. No, none of that. Like I'm in my own lane and I fuck with who I fuck with. And I get love in my city because I went in love in my city before I was a rapper. So I get love in my city from all over different hood. I ain't never did nothing. Like I ain't never did no lame or some shit. Nobody in there or nobody, period. Like Whatever it was, it was straight up. Man, man, been in there, we had to stand on. I ain't never did no, like, style nigga in the back and no shit like that type of other shit. I ain't shit with no nigga. Word. You know, in, 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 the, in the music industry nowadays, having an op, dissing dead homies is a thing now. Um, I mean, I thought it was just a Chicago thing. But you know, a lot of people are followers. They see shit work for other people. They try it. Um, but you and you and you said it. You know, a couple times in this interview, you don't have no ops nowadays. Every rapper has beef with somebody. I, I I can only imagine how peaceful it is for you to not have to watch over your shoulder because of petty rap beef. Yeah, man. Like nigga ain't on that one, man. Gotta up the security. Gotta be, nigga be on point, nigga be moving right and shit like that, but man, come on, man, with all the extra, for no reason, like, what, the beef don't be about that, you know what I mean, like, if there ain't no blood shit on the outside, like, they could it. You know what I'm saying, y'all ain't gotta fuck with each other, but y'all ain't gotta, 
You want to kill each other either. I ain't yeah. beefing. I'm straight. Like, but because the nigga ain't gonna have no reason to have a problem with me. How responsible do you think the fans are in media? Because they there are a lot of rappers shit. who they, they put the, they put the goddamn you know when the charcoal be on the grill, they put the lighter fluid. You know, they, nah, they put the lighter fluid on the on the fire. That's what they do. They put the lighter mm. fluid on the fire, and they don't even know what the fuck going on. They just want to sound cool and say something. Like, come on, man, get out of here, man. They ain't on that one, man. It's a lot of, like you said, there are a lot of rappers who, there, there has been no bloodshed, but you got the fans egging it on, you got the media reposting it, now the rapper feel like they got to live up to this image and prove the fans that they gangster, you know, how, how responsible do you think? They don't even necessarily be proven that they gangster, some, maybe some of them be gangster now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But there's no bloodshed and it's like the, the rappers have to live up to the beef. You don't see people squash beef how they used to. I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for nobody else, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, all I can say is shit corny, man. Shit block your money, man. Get in the way of your paper. So shit. But nigga ain't really talking about no shit to a nigga that threatened you and told you you don't feel you or nothing like that. Fuck that shit. Get your money. 